Birth control pills might shrink certain brain areas in women. Hello everyone, this is Mr. Obvious, and today on LifeScience.com, we've got a red pill about birth control for you. Now, to many people like me, who have seen indications, seen little studies and data points here and there that birth control actually <laughs> has a lot of negative effects on women, especially um, towards pair bonding. For example, it has been found, it has been found in studies that women who take birth control, when they see their partner, they have a reduced love response. In other words, someone's off the pill, they see their partner and they're like, oh my gosh, I love them so much. They are so great. And their brain releases feel good chemicals. But when they're on birth control, it goes from that to this. Oh, it's my partner. I kind of like them. And the brain releases smaller to much, much less of those happy chemicals. In other words, there may be indications that birth control will turn women into sociopaths. Yeah, they'll, they'll not love your, their partners as much. They'll not care about their partners as much. Bonding is reduced. And now with this study, we're seeing some very direct evidence that birth control can have severe effects on brain regions, shrinking them. But before we read this story, a quick word from this month's sponsor. Unsciencevoice.com Unsciencevoice.com is a free speech platform where you can post dank memes and subscribe to different communities that you enjoy to get all sorts of content. You won't be silenced on unsilencedvoice.com. Join today. So here we see. The pill might shrink certain brain regions among women taking it. This article is by Chloe Williams. And I say it's a very, very important piece of... It's important news. A brain region called the hypothalamus is smaller among women who use birth control pills compared with non-users, a new study finds. So here in these pictures, brain MRI images show the hypothalamus in red. A new study finds this brain region is smaller in women who use birth control pills compared with women not taking the pill. So this pill is shrinking their hypothalamus. What exactly does the hypothalamus do? Well, let's find out. Okay, so here's the important information. Here in this little chart, this picture, easy to understand, hypothalamus. It controls the release of hormones. It controls the release of dopamine. This is an important one. It controls the release of oxytocin. This is an important one. Important one. Vasopressin. All of these are important. These are all different hormones and dopamine, oxytocin, vasopressin. These are related to bonding, pair bonding, and love. Oh yeah, it's true. So if women who are affected with the pill have smaller hypothalamuses, this could be the first example of direct evidence of anecdotal information in all these studies, all these studies which show when women go on the pill, it drives them mad. They become different people. They love their partners less. They are able to pair bond less. It is very real, my friends. These are pair bonding chemicals. Dopamine's related to rewards. Oxytocin is a very important bonding chemical in humans. If the hypothalamus is being suppressed, it is conceivable that this this material is also being suppressed. Birth control pills may slightly alter the structure of women's brains. According to a new study, the study found that women taking the pill or oral contraceptives had a smaller size hypothalamus in women not taking the pill. The hypothalamus is a pea-sized structure deep inside the brain, which helps regulate involuntary functions, such as appetite, body temperature, and emotions. Yeah, and it's, it's also found that especially for some women when they go on birth control they can absolutely turn crazy and maybe it's because their hypothalamus is being affected perhaps even damaged you see these pills are very unnatural they force the female body to do something that it's not actually supposed to do the female body is not supposed to have its hormones suppressed its fertility suppressed it's not normal and now we're seeing what looks like brain damage from these pills. It's why I will never, ever, ever take any of those male birth control chemicals or, or drugs that they develop. Screw that. I take it and then I end up infertile. Yeah, I don't think so. It's gonna mess with my brain. I don't think so. It also serves as a link between the nervous system and the endocrine system, a network of glands that produce hormones. So about 150 million women use oral contraceptives. 
About 150 million women use oral contraceptives worldwide, according to a 2019 report from the United Nations Department of Economic and Social Affairs. Despite their widespread use, research looking at how oral contraceptives affect the brain is sparse. Now, people are always giving me a hard time when I criticize medical science, when I criticize the big pharma, and when I criticize modern medication. They're always giving me a hard time. Oh, Mr. Obvious, you're such a libertarian. How can you advocate for naturally occurring drugs that exist in nature, but shit on all the doctors that doctors know best? This technology is proven. Oh, yeah? Is it now? You and your tiny hypothalamus is going to talk back to me? How dare you? This is why. You know, contrary to popular belief, there's a lot of substances that won't kill you, even over a long period of time and with a lot of use. However, most modern medications, well, the side effects are on the bottle. Haven't you ever seen an, uh, a drug ad on TV? Side effects may include exploding heart, dying liver, instant death, depression, thoughts of suicide. The pill may or may not make you bleed out of your anus. If your left ball drops off, be sure to consult with a doctor. Also, it may cause droopy breasts. And then meanwhile, it's like showing a really positive lady. She's smiling. Oh, she's, she's galloping across in the flowers and it's just beautiful and everybody's happy and it's really bright while they're reading all these dangerous side effects. This medication's for heart disease. It will help you not have a heart attack. Side effect, heart attack. The most common side effects are nausea. I wouldn't touch most of these pills for any reason. Okay. Modern medicine and modern doctors are extremely overrated, and I think in a hundred years, we'll look back and be like, holy shit, we had no idea what we were doing. Not only that, it will pain you to know that a lot of the times the big pharma in their studies, their double-blind studies, are actually pretty much the placebo effect. You see, they've done studies on drugs in America and in other countries, and in some cases, just in other states. And these drugs fail to pass double-blind studies, which means that it was most likely the placebo effect that made them have any sort of positive effect at all. It's a huge scam, it's extremely dangerous, and, well, that's where we're at, friends. So they don't even have research on how this stuff affects the brain, but Guys like me, who have only seen the anecdotal evidence of birth control turning women crazy. Oh, we were wrong because we weren't doctors. We're crazy. We don't know what's going on. You know there's an old saying, I'll believe it when I see it. Well, I saw it. A lot of people have seen it. People have written about it. Women seem to turn crazy when they go on birth control. And they also seem to stop giving a shit. Well, there you go. Now we have some evidence. Now we have a scientific study that shows us women's brains, their hypothalamus shrinks. That can't be good. It's a pretty understudied area, said Dr. Michael Lipton, professor of radiology at Albert Einstein College of Medicine in New York, who led the recent research, finally. A real professor. Of course, a professor of radiology would be doing groundbreaking work. For some reason, no one has been doing it. Only him. So, the new study was presented, heck, at the same time I'm recording this, December 4th, at the annual meeting of the Radiology Society of North America. Is the first look at the pill's effects on the hypothalamus. To gauge the structure's volume, the researchers used MRI scans of 50 women, 21 of whom were taking a combination pill, a common type of birth control pill that provides a dose of synthetic estrogen and progestin. On average, the women taking the pill had hypothalamuses that were about 6% smaller than it was in women not taking the pill, the study found. For brain region, that's a pretty sizable difference, Lipton said. Now, 6% might not sound like a lot, but let's just imagine that your frontal lobes were 6% smaller. You're going to find that there is a pretty significant decrease in IQ. So you lose 6% of your frontal lobes, you may go from a bright student to basically an idiot. Okay, we're talking about the human brain. There's not a lot to go around. 
Given that the hypothalamus produces hormones that regulate the body's endocrine system, the results are not at all surprising, said Jonathan Schaefer, associate professor of obstetrics and gynecology at The Ohio State University, which was not involved in the research. Birth control pills may be telling the hypothalamus that it doesn't need to produce these hormones. Well, that doesn't sound dangerous. This reminds me, did you know that when men take artificial testosterone to boost their testosterone levels, their body will stop producing it, and then they become unable to produce their own testosterone? In fact, prior studies have shown that sex hormones promote neurons' growth. So not only is your hypothalamus going to shrink, your brain is going to stop growing. Your neurons, you're going to not have neurons. This explains a lot. How many people on the pill did you know that were absolutely kind of crazy? I have to wonder, how many of those gender studies people, how many of those so-called feminists are on the pill? How many of them are single? How many of them are kind of crazy? I have to wonder. One hypothesis is that the synthetic hormones in oral contraceptives interfere with these effects and can lead to less brain cell growth. You heard it here first, folks. Birth control makes women dumber. Still, exactly what the effects of a smaller hypothalamus might be are not entirely clear. The study shows that women taking the pill do not have smaller brains overall, and that their mental abilities are not affected. However, the researchers did find that a smaller hypothalamus is associated with an increase in anger and symptoms of depression. So mood swings, anger, depression, um, I'm sure there's a lot more. Probably reduced pair bonding. I've seen the studies. Of course, Lipton makes the caution that this is from a small study. It doesn't prove cause and effect. Bullshit. I'm calling it now. This is proof. They say the effects are still unclear and they're still looking into what's causing this. It's still too early to conclude how oral contraceptives affect the brain, if at all, Lipton said. We're not saying that people should run out and throw away their birth control pills, he said. If anything, the results may simply point to a question that warrants more research, he added. Yeah, I think it's turning people crazy. I think it's one of the reasons that women who take the pill just seem to change. They're not the same. There's actually a lot of studies on this. Birth control affects women's taste in men. I think this study said that birth control will make women prefer feminine, weak men. Pretty weird. Birth control will make women worse at reading others. Birth control shown to alter the structure of women's brains. That was back in 2010. Birth control may affect long-term relationships. That was in 2012. Oral contraceptives may impair recognition of complex something something. That was in 2019. It is real, my friends. Very, very real. So that's pretty much the story. Um, birth control pills do things to women. And we don't fully understand what it is. But I'll tell you what. I, I don't think they are... I think they're harmful. I think it does things to them. I think it changes them. And I've seen enough stuff to know that I don't want my woman or any woman taking these pills... I mean, maybe in countries where you have overpopulation problems, okay, sure. But I don't know. Like, I, I don't want to have a partner who, when they see me, they don't love me anymore. Or they're like, oh, it's just that dude I, that I live with, that guy. Yeah, okay. Oh, it's just my children. Who cares? Anyways, that's just my opinion on this issue. I think it goes without saying that even if the pill is not super dangerous for women, there's certainly something strange going on. But that's merely the obvious. Well, that's all for now, folks. What do you think about this study? Are you surprised? Maybe... Let me know what your experience is. How many women did you know that were on the pill? And maybe women, if you have any experiences with birth control, why don't you tell me any changes you noticed? What have you found? Be sure to let me know. Now, as always, if you want to contribute to the content that I make, and I do my best to make a lot of content, you can uh, join me on Patreon or Subscribestar for as low as $1 dollar. And doing so will get you access to Fight Club, a private Discord server, where you can contact me personally. I drop in from time to time. And uh, I'm able to talk there a little bit more freely because it is a private server. So there's that. There's also PayPal and Bitcoin if you want to donate. All links are in the description. As always, thanks for watching. This has been Mr. Obvious, and I'll see you all uh, next time.